everybody, what's going on? I'm Gamer Chick, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to more of Story of Seasons! In the previous episode, we didn't really do anything special, but I woke up in this episode, and it says at the bottom, my first shop. Do we get our own shop? Is... what? I don't even know, so let's, let's see what Veronica has to say. She says, good morning. Okay, I'm sorry to disturb you this early in the morning. However, I come bearing good news. Mr. Jonas will fill you in on the details. Well, you see, we did an inventory of the shop stalls we use for trading, and to our surprise, we found we have an extra stall. After discussing it with Miss Veronica, we decided we'd like you to use it. So how about it? Would you like to run your own shop? Consider it our thanks for helping make our town such an attractive trading stop. Wow. Oh, good. There's um a lot to explain, so do you mind coming to the trade depot? All right, this is unexpected. I didn't realize we get our own shop. This will be your shop. It's so tiny. It's beautiful, I love it. I'm ex am I inspecting it? Like, <laughs> I'm just kind of walking around. Is it good enough? I'm not sure. I'm glad you like it. Okay, let me show you how to use your new shop. To open your shop, first stand in front of the signboard and press the A button. Okay, this will ring up a menu with the following. Open shop, stock menus, I mean stock items, stock menus, it's not a restaurant. Remove items and empty register. Ooh. If you're opening your shop for the first time, you should choose stock items. All right, you can choose items to stock from places like your bag or your storage. Then choose how many you want to stock. After you choose how many to stock, you can set the price you'd like to sell them at. You can choose to sell at full or half price. Once you've set the price, the item will be listed in your store. With your items stocked, you'll return to the first menu. Next, select Open Shop. You can choose what kind of shop it'll be, like a farmer shop or interiors design if the type of shop matches what you've stocked, you may sell more items. Alright, once you've opened your shop, you don't need to stay and watch it. Customers will still come by and purchase your items. And that's how to open a shop! When you want to close your shop, look at the signboard and just like you did when you opened the shop, then select close shop. Alright, let's not forget about collecting the profits from what you sold. Profit from your sales is stored at the shop. When you want to collect that money, choose Empty Register from the menu. The money will automatically be added to your wallet. You can choose Empty Register without having to close your shop, so there's no harm in stopping by often to check it. And that's about it. I've sent a book on it to your house, so read if you get caught up in the complexities of being a shopkeep. It sounds pretty basic. Opening my shop has been added to the bookshelf. Well, then we should get back to letting you get to work. Yeah, sure. That's what that said. Anyways, excuse us. Okay, so that's that's pretty convenient. So, I mean, if there's no traders and, you know, I can just, like, go over and... Oh, that's awesome. And unfortunately for us, it's not sunny on this Wednesday, so I can't trigger the scene with Rager. So we have to wait another week to trigger the scene. <laughs> Why? Why, game? Why would you do such a thing? Oh, this game hates me. It does. The game hates me. I have determined. I have determined. The game does not like me. Stop brushing the cow. Brush the horse. Today is the day of my conquest that I'm not even gonna partake in because I don't even care about the grain field. Oh, I can't trigger the scene. I'm so upset. Man, my goal was to like get all the scenes done before like the first of year two. That's so not gonna happen at this rate. All right, here you go, cows. Get, get that treat. Here you go, cow. I'm out of Moo Moo treats now. When I have to go get you more. Oh, it's snowing. I wish it wasn't snowing. I mean, I like the snow, but that's not the point. Hello, chicken. There you are. There you are. And one more chicken. Chicken! What about my bunny rabbit? How you doing, bunny? It looks peppy today. No, not the hammer! No, don't hammer it! Don't hammer the bunny! Oh, boy, it ran away. There we go. That works. That works! Okay. 
let's go ahead and continue. I mean, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and see what I have in the sewing studio. Looks like whatever we have to sell out. And uh, I guess I can put it in the shop. I'm not really sure. All right, let's go over here and let's make some gold linen. Oh, I only have six sets ready. That's because most of this stuff is right here. There we go. Go over here. Let's see, gold linen thread. Oh boy. Make it all. Go ahead and make it all, please. I wish there was a make all button. Like the max I can stack is 30 when I put it in here. Like I don't understand that one at all. That's inconvenient. It's a very inconvenient game. Just, I just wanted to make all. Make it, no, not silver. Gold, 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 gold. Here we go, that, that'll work, sure. Sure, that'll work. All right, let's go ahead and get my seeds out of the seed maker. I forgot about that, we need the, oh, you know what? We can't do that yet because I haven't put them in the actual seed maker. What was that? What did I dry in there? I wonder if that was sweet potatoes. I'm not sure. All right, here's my flax seeds. There you are, what kind of seeds do I have in my inventory? Turn up, yeah, those were the sweet potato seeds. Three star sweet potato seeds, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Too bad my flax isn't three stars yet. Okay, so I can't plant any more flax because I'm waiting for the fancy, fancy flax to come through. So we're not gonna be doing any of that. So let's go ahead and do some chopping here. Give me my grass. Give me my grass. Thank you for the grass. Let's go. Actually, I want to go like directly to my shop and then work my way back because I want to go ahead and like put stuff in there. I don't know if I want to like sell foods or if I want to focus on like selling cloth first or what, but I, I do want to go ahead and get it open. So let's go do that real quick and then I'll just kind of work my way backwards. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and go to go to the shop. We're going to the shop. Okay, just wanna, ooh, I want this stuff. Let's get this stuff real quick. Let's get this party started now. Let's get it started, ha. Let's get it started in here. I'm pretty upset that I can't trigger that scene today. That is pretty upsetting. I was totally looking forward to triggering that scene. And what do you know, it's snowing. It's snowing in game and I can't do diddly squat. What a joke. All right, who's in here? Hello, you just standing around in here? All right. All right, we're going to set items to sell. Let's look in the storage box. Let's see, I have some yarn. I have some yarn, I mean, I could sell that. I really, oh crap, stop doing that. Let's let's sell the golden linen cloth set at retail price. I want full price for those. And then I want to sell, I guess, some of this yarn. Sell some yarn. And uh, I mean, I guess we could set this stuff to sell too. Why not, just because it's in there, sure. All right, that's that's what I want. Uh, let's see. Remove listed items, collect earnings, open the store. Let's see, it is a tailor shop, a candy store. That'd be fun. It's a tailor shop right now. It's a tailor shop, I think. I mean, I'm not really sure. Can I, like, change it? Change the store? Ranch, general store. Would it be considered a floral shop, antique shop? Fish shop, vegetable shop, home decor. I mean, technically it would be considered a tailor shop. It might be considered a general store. No, I I'm going to hold firm with my decision there. I'm going to say it's a tailor shop because that's I think that's the best category it would fall under, in my opinion. All right, let's go see our boyfriend and give him some more seaweed because there is one more flower color that he can be at. I think it's pink or red. So, he's currently at yellow, and we need to go ahead and get him to pink soon. He's already pink! What do you know? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Regardless, since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some seaweed. 
because that's that's what we do. Here you go. Have some seaweed. There you go. Alright, so he's at his highest tier flower, so we only have like two more scenes to trigger. And then we should be able to marry him, but again, I don't know how the marriage things works because I haven't done it yet, so I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna go. Um, let's go ahead and not go to the safari. Um, I do want to go in here. Is he open yet? Are you open yet? Nine? You are open. Okay, let's go in here and buy some more fertilizer. See if he has any. I'm sure he does, but it's it's never enough. But this gives us a little opportunity to kind of stock up on the fertilizer. 18? I'll take it all. Thank you! Thank you very much. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do our routine in reverse. So, let's go see our squid and then... That's, that's pretty much the most important thing to do, is to see the squid. Um, anything here? No. Squiddy, squiddy! Squid! It's pretty cool how you, like, you can set your shop to, like, these different settings. Like, you can open a flower shop, or a candy shop, or... It's so cool! Or a fish shop? Like, that's pretty cool, too. Oh, it's so awesome! Like, the, just the possibilities are endless. I'm opening a tailor shop. I'm selling my golden linen cloth, you know, all that good stuff. And I'm selling some wool and yarn and it's so beautiful. It's going to make me so much money. So much money. It's going to make me so much money. So much money. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. I like the shop feature. It's pretty cool. Like, I didn't even realize there was a shop feature in this game. It just makes it all the more interesting. This game is just full of so many possibilities. It's it's hard to be bored in this game. Because there's just so much for you to do. Like, if you're playing this game and you're bored, there is something wrong with you. Because <laughs> there is something for everyone. Like, you can you can farm all day. You could say, screw farming. And you can, you can fish all day if you wanted. You could just say screw that and just raise your animals. You could you could do that. I mean, you can only have let's see, eight animals per barn, and I'm pretty sure you can only have like two barns and two chicken coops. But I mean, if you just wanted to solely focus on animals, you could do that because the safari area is also going to be able to house animals once you get to the point where you can like build the giant tree, which I have enough money for, but it's it would take like every penny I have, so I'm not ready to do that just yet. Uh, but uh, like. You know, you can make so many different things. And there's like, you know, the sewing studio that we have is just like the tip of the iceberg. Because there's like a, a pottery barn that you can buy and make stuff in. And then there's one with like milk and butter and cheese and some kind of... It's a cheese factory. That's what it is. It's, it's the cheese factory is what it's called. I mean, there's just so many possibilities in this game. It's absolutely amazing. It's, it takes Harvest Moon to a whole new level, because it's not Harvest Moon, it's Story of Seasons! Ho ho ho! But it, it really does, like, this game is just fantastic. I've immensely enjoyed playing it so far, and I can't wait to see where it takes me! Alright, so we took care of everything for the most part. We're gonna go ahead and go to the Safari Zone! To the Safari we go! To the safari zone. To the safari we go. Hello? Hello? Did the music stop? Is there no music? What the heck? Why is there no music? Why? Why is there... Maybe there is music. It's just really quiet on my end. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's so quiet. Oh, wow. It's awfully fuzzy, too. Hmm. That's not good. I seem to be having some technical issues. Hopefully it comes up okay in the video. I hope. I have my fingers crossed on that one. Because I record these episodes two or three at a time. And then I'll go through and then edit them all together. So, <laughs> if you, like, notice there's something wrong with, like, two or three episodes in a row, it's because I record them two or three at a time. And if something's not working... <laughs> Then it's just, you know, bad luck. It should be okay though. I mean, volume's turned up. I mean, I don't really have to listen to the music in order for it to record. It should just be there. Should just be there. We should be a-okay. 
And I mean, I heard the winter music just fine. It's just that when I went to the safari, like something changed. I'm not sure what. It's a little odd. Little odd. Little weird tidbit. Give me all this stuff. I want it. It's mine. That had a lot of stuff in it. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see. Snowball! Oh! Materials! Heck yes! Alright, let's go ahead and get our hammer out and bang, bang, bang a little bit. Bang, 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 bang. All these gems. Oh, they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Amethysts, amethysts. Amethysts are so pretty! I'm gonna use them for a for a thingy. Oh, what do you call it? A, a set, an accessory set. I think I need the amethyst. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Okay, so the volume got louder all of a sudden. I'm not sure. There must be like a... There must be a short in my cord. Mm, that has to be it. There has to be a short in my cord. Which sucks, but whatever. Alright, um... We have to go to the seed maker. That's the sewing studio! That wasn't right. Wasn't right, but I mean, I can go ahead and take and see if there's anything in here that... There we go. Yeah, do I have any to add? No, I do not. Uh, can I see the progress on it? No. Okay, let's go ahead and remove this stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and set whatever I picked up to one. That's it. One. Maybe it's under the cloth? Here we go. That's better. Well, that's a little bit better. Make a couple more than one. Not purple. Not purple. Ugh. Gold. Gold! Gold! Alright. Anyways, I wanted to go to here. Here we go. The seed maker. Because I need my seeds. Thank you. And now we have flax seeds that we can actually use to plant, which is going to be absolutely beautiful because we need to grow more flax and all that good stuff. So definitely, definitely going to have to do that. There must be a short in my cable. Like, there's a short in my audio cable. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is just not good at all. Not good. I'm going to have to do something about that. Alright! Well, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these trees, because there's a couple over here I want to get rid of. And uh, we'll check on the shop tomorrow. I really don't want to walk all the way back there, because I'm pretty sure it stays open. You don't actually have to, uh, like, tend to the shop. It just kind of runs itself when you put stuff in there. So that's pretty convenient as well. Let's see what else we got going on here. Here's that. Hello! Tree! Die, tree! Come on, fall, fall, fall. Oh no. No, no, no. Don't collapse, don't collapse. Okay. We'll just stop there. Alright guys, unfortunately that's all the time we have for this episode. If you guys would like to support me and if you guys would like to see more of Story of Seasons, be sure to show your support by leaving a like and a comment in the section below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. In the next episode, we're gonna continue to tend to our shop because it is... A very interesting concept that has been added to the game, and I really want to explore it a little bit more. So, until then, I will see you guys very, very soon with more of Story of Seasons. Bye!